Neurochemistry refers to the substances that impact the brain and nervous system, such as hormones and neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemicals that help transmit signals between neurons. Neurons are separated by a gap called a synapse, and neurotransmitters are required to transfer signals across this gap. Different neurotransmitters carry different types of signal. Serotonin is one of the body's main neurotransmitters and has been linked to various behaviours and disorders. For example, depression is thought to be caused by low levels of serotonin. Serotonin can also be linked to aggression, as a lack of serotonin in the orbitofrontal cortex can disrupt its function, making impulse control more difficult. Dopamine is another neurotransmitter that has been linked to aggression. Dopamine helps to regulate our motivation and experience of rewards. When serotonin levels drop, an increase in dopamine can cause an increase in aggression and impulsivity. Another type of neurochemical that impacts behaviour is hormones such as testosterone and oestrogen. Both males and females have both testosterone and oestrogen. However, testosterone is the dominant male sex hormone and oestrogen is the dominant female sex hormone. Oestrogen controls the development of female sex organs and secondary female characteristics such as breasts and menstruation. Oestrogen has also been linked to emotional behaviour. Testosterone controls the development of male sex organs and secondary male characteristics such as sperm production, facial hair and a deeper voice. Testosterone has also been linked to aggression in both males and females. Sex hormones are therefore strongly linked to gender-specific behaviour. Testosterone can also be linked to genetic conditions and therefore atypical development. Essentially, the cause of a fetus not to develop typically for its biological sex. For example, a condition called congenital adrenal hyperplasia results in a female fetus being overexposed to testosterone. This results in abnormal development of genitalia, and 5% of people with this condition choose to live as a male, despite being biologically female. On the other hand, a condition called complete androgen insensitivity syndrome is when a male fetus is immune to the effects of testosterone, also causing abnormal development of genitalia. People with this condition almost always identify as female, despite being biologically male. There are lots of studies that support the influence of hormones on behaviour, However, studies often produce conflicting results.